Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And so we stand for the anthems. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too. But certainly, if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. So it's down to business here. Tries to locate someone up front. And they've been caught out here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. Good idea, just poorly executed. Looks to bypass the midfield. Oh, good interception. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Drives it towards the front. Hoists it forward. Oh, decisive action by the goalkeeper. He knew he had to get that done. Goes direct to the front line. And it's played forward. Gets into a dangerous position. to get it forward quickly knocks it away looks to clip it forward ball's gone out of play steered in goalkeeper's ball Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with.
forward it goes. Cleared away. Dashing forward at pace. A forward pass. be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first? That gets things going for the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. For throw in. Hoists it forward. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Now the breakaway. Goes long. He's gone for it! Up towards the front line. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Broken loose. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. And it's played forward, cuts it out. He's through the middle, going through. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Forward it goes. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And he's made sure that that won't get through. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be... And there goes the final whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?